we are at Publix. As you can see, we just picked up our groceries from Walmart, but I wanna come in Publix to pick up fruit. And I don't quite trust that process of like putting that in my grocery pickup. So I like to go in and pick it out myself. The weather is gorgeous. The sun is out, but it's so windy. Like, oh my goodness, it will blow you away. We're supposed to get some really heavy rain later on tonight, and I could definitely see it coming because the weather is so warm. And um, we're normally like getting ready to stock up because of snow or something. So the weather is super duper warm. The weather is gorgeous. Um, so I want to get out, get everything done before it's time for me to um well before the weather gets bad so picking up groceries i do need to go to target and h and m i have stuff to do around the house so it's a pretty busy day and i just thought i would bring you guys along with me a lot of you told me that you really loved vlogmas so i promise to try to incorporate more vlog style videos for you guys so let's go ahead and head into publix so i won't go through a full grocery haul spiel i feel like if you've ever seen a grocery haul you've seen this one we are definitely creatures of habit um, I am on a mission to just clear out my freezer, so I plan my meals based upon what I already have. I did pick up my wine, y'all. This is a one time of year that I will have a glass or two, but other than that, I'm really not a drinker, and I will share more when I share the planning portion of this video. okay so we are back home y'all it was so windy it was so hard to film y'all wouldn't have heard anything um but i went into target and just the stores were busy as well it was very loud and yeah it was just a madhouse i think everybody's trying to get all of their new year stuff done because again the weather's gonna get bad tonight and then it's just basically gonna rain all the way through the weekend so whatever but i did pick up some mckinley some more school pants she has several but anytime i catch these on sale i pick them up i love everything cat and jack i don't know i just love that brand from target and although they were not marked down like they're still marked the original 12.99 price they were 30 percent off so they were cheaper and so i got just her basic colors black navy khaki and then i went into h&m i was watching my girl shauna um happy stylish mommy and she had went into h&m and they had a really nice sweater sale and so i was able to pick up um, a cardigan which i am a cardigan girl i love a good sweater y'all and so it's just really nice kind of oversized um, I love the buttons and I think it's nice that you can just put it on with leggings and like be around the house or if you need to go out, put on some boots or something. I don't know. It's really cute. But it was originally $29.99 and it was on clearance for $12.99. And then I also found a gray one. I know I said I was going to do better with color, but y'all... I just like what I like. I like real neutral colors. And this has no buttons. It's just like an open front kind of oversized cardigan, but it is very soft and warm. And again, the original price was $24.99 and it was on sale for $10.99. And then I just got this regular <laughs> black shirt i know y'all don't i know i know i know i know i, know. I need to do better um it was just kind of it's kind of light weight knit but still you know still good i feel like it'll transition well into the spring and it was $17.99 originally and they were on sale for $6.99 so y'all get to H&M they do have a lot of stuff on sale they have jeans on sale all kinds of stuff but I cannot buy jeans without trying them on so I didn't even want to chance it I have to try on everything um but yeah if y'all are near H&M I'm pretty sure you know they have something on sale in your area but that's what I picked up there is another H&M um nearby so I may try that one out because there is another cardigan that I want 
um, as if I need another one, but I'm going to try to see if that one has it. But yeah, they have some great sales. So get out there and see what you can find. So I stated that I would share my planner with you guys. This is just a planner that I got in my Secret Santa box from Desiree, the Cleaning Beauty. I actually ordered a planner, but I liked hers better. So I took that one back and I do purchase the Happy Planner stickers, but I do believe this particular planner can be purchased at Target and I just like colorful pens. So I just pick up um, the Paper Mate. I think they're the Enjoy Flare Tip pens. Um, but I will share with you my planner. There are some stickers here already that you can utilize, but I like the ones in the happy planner as well. The one thing I love about this planner is that it breaks down your goals into um, quarterly goals, which gives you more time. And so it breaks them down by personal, career, financial, and like big ideas that you may have. And there's also a reflection section where you can come back at the end of the quarter and reflect on how you've done. My goals definitely center around fitness, um, my career, YouTube growth, um, definitely financial goals around increasing my investments and trying not to have like weeks where I'm spending money. So more no spend weeks. I do want to start a blog and I've always wanted to write a book y'all. <laughs> so those are all things that are part of my goals. And then I will definitely revisit this section when it's time for me to reflect when the quarter is over. And once you get into the main section or the main um, part of the planner for January, this is where I lay out all of my budgeting. So I like to put down my paydays. I like to put down when the bills are due. And these are real numbers, y'all, like facts. And I don't know what's going on with my water bill and my light bill, but they are off the chain and they're going to have to get in line. <laughs> like I'm not paying a light bill or a water bill this high ever again. They are horrible, but I do like to mark anything related to the home in green. Um, I did put down my starting weight because there is, you know, I have like this fitness goal for myself and that's a real number two, y'all. Your girl is 154 pounds, but that's not going to continue because at 5'1", I can't weigh 150 nothing. So I will definitely be on that. Um, the portion for my home, I need to make a decision as to whether or not I am going to keep my home or sell it and buy a new home. And either way I go, I do want to beef up my savings. So I'm just going to put that flat $1,000 and I'm going to make it a home item, like a line item in the budget versus a sinking fund so that it does not become optional. Like I need to have it set up like it's a real bill. I also break down my spending envelopes. I just like to put that to the side of a payday because I'll stuff those. And then that is how I spend money from my cash envelopes. I don't swipe my debit card. I put the allotted funds in the cash envelope. And I'll show you guys that in a future video because this is not a pay week. So when I up share my updates, I will show you what that looks like and how I stuff those envelopes. Um, other than that, I'm just playing basic bills, y'all, like utilities. I pay for McKinley's tuition, insurance, um, you know, TV, internet, cell phone. My cell phone bill is higher this month as well because Makaya got a new phone and I, some charges, they told me they had to bill or whatever. So once I clear that, it'll go back down. Um, but pretty much this is how I budget. I just write it all down. I do want to track my progress on my goals, like my water intake, my workouts, my no spin weeks and my Bible reading plan. So I do have that down there in the tracker section. And every day that I'm successful, I will color it in. And then I'll just write down those reminders and important dates at the bottom. And as the bills clear or as I pay them, I just like to check them off um, again. The pay periods are, are a little weird. So my beginning of January's bills were actually paid with my um, end of December paycheck. We got paid on Christmas or like a few days before, but um, those bills are already paid. So when I am paid again on the 8th, I will be paying the bills for the end of the month. And I've always paid my bills that way because I am a 10 month employee. I don't get paid over the summer. So when it's all said and done, I'm actually only responsible for like one month's worth of bills. 
Um, I do spread out my paycheck or I have a fixed direct deposit into a savings account that automatically happens. Um, I never see it and it just goes to that account at a different bank, which is what I call my summer funding. So that's why you don't see that in a spending envelope or anything like that. I just have that done as a fixed direct deposit into a savings account at my credit union. So that's pretty much all of the budgeting things on the um, weekly plans is where I plan out all of my videos like when I need to edit voiceover a video sometimes I do it all in one day sometimes I don't I do also have a word of the week um, and last week that word was rigor um, and I define that as so challenging you can't defeat it but not so challenging you can't meet it and I just like words like that um, words that keep me going also, if I have any type of plans, I just brain dump it in the dream section. So I thought about starting a second channel. I thought about writing a blog and what I would do, what I would create. I also put my meal plans and my grocery list there. And then moving on to the um, next week, which is the week I'm actually planning for, um, I just have kind of like the videos that will go out. I'll go more in depth with that as I start to film those videos and edit and get them ready to go. I also like to plan out my meals. Again, I'm trying to clear that freezer out. So that's why you saw the grocery haul the way that it was. Um, and then I, the word for this week is going to be grit. Um, and again, I just love words like one word that can just kind of sum up what I'm doing for that week because I definitely feel like I'm going to grind it out and get things done. And I really want to start off as strong as possible in the new year. And so to define grit, um, I define that as passion and perseverance for long term and meaningful goals. So I always like to put that definition there. And then as I come up with anything, brainstorm anything, I'll just use that dream section to just kind of do my brain dump. And then I'll also track my spending over to the right hand side. Um, I will write down that Walmart pickup. It was $88. I do always round up though. I think it goes to like Second Harvest Food Bank or something like that. I don't know. I just round up. And so it was $88. Any of the other spending that you may have seen in this video, I did not track it here because I used a gift card. So if I use a gift card or something like that, then I don't put it in my tracking because it's not coming out of my bank account. And everybody knows that I love a grocery gift card, a gas card, anything that will require me not to spend my money. I am all about that. And so I still had gift cards for my birthday and then also gift cards from Christmas. So any other spending that was not written down here, it was um, purchased with a gift card, which I'm not going to track because that was a gift. And then I will kind of show you guys some of my future YouTube kind of videos that I will post, giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, but not a deep in-depth um, view because I haven't really gotten there yet. I usually sit down like at the end of the week and kind of reflect on my gains, my losses, <laughs> um, what I got accomplished, what I didn't, and then I will plan out the next week. But just kind of giving you guys a flip through. Again, you don't need a million dollar planner to be intentional about how you are spending your time or spending your money. You can get a planner from Walmart, anywhere. Um, and I know sometimes you feel like you got to have all the you know fancy frills, but you don't. You just need one little planner. And again, these Happy Planner stickers, they're usually, you know, 40% off at Michael's, 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So you can get these if you want to kind of make it a little bit more fancy. Um, but again, they're not required. But again, they're usually running around $10 for the pack and they last a, a really long time. So just grab you some um, markers grab you some stickers if you need that and just a very inexpensive planner thank you again Desiree the cleaning beauty for providing me with this beautiful planner along with some other goodies she's absolutely amazing so make sure you're following her channel if you are not already and make sure you tune in to her on Sunday nights at 8 30 central time she does a let's whine about it and it's so good it's just women getting together chatting sipping on your wine although i'm usually sipping on my coca-cola but it's just a big time guys so make sure you are tuning into that she's absolutely amazing but yeah i just wanted to give you a flip through of what my planner looks like like i said this is just 
what I write down. This is how I do my budgeting, um, how I plan my videos, and just pretty much plan my life. So I hope you found it useful. Okay, so I just thought I would sit down here and talk to y'all for a bit. Y'all, I'm so tired and I have so many things that I need to be doing right now. For the most part, I am definitely prepared to go into the new year. And the little things that I have on my list that probably can wait and probably will wait. I'm just tired and I'm drained. And the fact that it's getting ready to start raining, I just, I don't want to do anything. And I ate. <laughs> So I'm full and I'm tired. Um, but I did want to just kind of sit down and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, Y'all, I am like, I'm excited, but I'm also like, I'm anxious about going into next year. I don't know why. I know 2020 has been a hot mess, so I should be welcoming something new that I'm excited about like you guys and YouTube and kind of like hitting my next milestone. I think I'm like 150 hours away from hitting my 4,000 watch time hours to monetize my channel. So thank you all so much for watching and watching, you know, in its entirety because that definitely helps. And I do appreciate you guys for doing that. Um, I did share my planner with you guys. Um, so thank you, Desiree, for sending me my planner. Um, I, I'm a teacher, I'm not rich. I don't make a million dollars, but I do know that, you know, I can manage my money. And in my previous career, I made almost triple <laughs> what I make now. Um, so I've been on, um, you know, high and low whatever I don't really care I just know I serve a God that's gonna make sure I'm straight no matter what so to be able to do a job that I love and we are not missing a beat we're not missing a crumb or anything else um I just it just comes with like that discipline of being able to budget and manage your money I'm not here to fuss like if you get off task just start over like, it's okay, but don't just fall off and just stay down. You know, don't drop the ball and just let it keep bouncing. Pick it up and shoot your next shot. Um, I do want to talk about the giveaway. So, y'all, I did reach my 1K, which I'm so excited about, but there are some women who did some collaborations with me that really helped me. So, my goal was to try to build, like, an audience on my own, and I felt like, you know, once I got to about 500 subscribers that I would like start trying to do some collaborations. And so my first collaborations was, my first collaboration was with Shalia Shishi Rose, who is like my girl, love her. And that really helped my channel a lot. I did a collaboration with Jennifer, um, Simply Jennifer. You may know her as I Love Lunches. Um, also, um, Taryn with Getting My Life Together at 50. She's a native Nashvilleian. And then, of course, I did Vlogmas with um, Lisa with To Be Strong Home, The Cleaning Beauty, Desiree, Cookie at It's Cookies Way, and Boldly Brit. Um, and then, like, my largest collaboration was with Nia Nicole, and she is such a sweetheart. She absolutely did not have to collaborate with me. I'm pretty sure all of you are already following her, um, but she did. And so just thinking about like ways to be um, of service to someone else, I do feel like I want my 1K giveaway to help someone else. Like I want to find a way to be a near Nicole to someone at this stage of my channel. And I want to do um, a giveaway. So we would do a $50 giveaway. The only thing that you have to do is subscribe to Cookie at It's Cookie's Way. I didn't know Cookie prior to our Vlogmas collaboration. I met her through the other ladies, but I like instantly fell in love with her. She is amazing. She is so sweet. Her personality oozes just kindness. And she is, you know, someone who is on the journey to her 1K. And I know that she would definitely love to hit that as soon as possible. She is a mom of four. She's a working mom and wife, and she does tons of like DIY. She redid her laundry room and like her kitchen and y'all, it looks like 
a professional went in and did the work like she did a really great job um she has excellent cleaning motivation like her home is gorgeous so i would just really love if you would help me help someone else so that is all you have to do i mean obviously you should be subscribed here but if you could subscribe to cookie edits cookies way watch her latest video and leave a cookie emoji in the comments and let her know i sent you and i will get cookie to help me pick a winner so again you should be subscribed here anyway head over to it's cookies way i will link it down below i want you to watch her latest video make sure you subscribe leave a comment letting her know that i sent you and make sure in your comment you drop some cookie emojis and that is the giveaway i want to thank you in advance because again um you all have supported me and if you know nothing about me i hope you know that i have a really big heart and i will give anybody anything even if that means i have nothing for myself and i'm like that's just how i'm wired but I would really appreciate it if you would help me out with this giveaway and just follow those simple instructions. Again, I will leave Cookie's information down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am going to fold that load of laundry that you all saw me put in before I left out. There were some other things I was gonna do, friends, but it's gonna wait. Like, your girl is tired. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.